listen, one thing about you is, listen, you think you know something. But you, but you know what? We're up here teaching. Right. How am I not a teacher? Because you don't keep the commandments. That's simple. Right. Guess what? Right he said go out to the highways and byways and teach what? Teach them the Listen, you ain't going to fool us that you don't know the Bible. This is the time that we're supposed to be coming together right now to seek God. Give me Matthew uh, 15 and 3. This is, this is one reason why our people can't never get the word of God. Because they're so prideful. Listen, you ain't going to fool us that you don't know the Bible. You ain't going to fool God. You can sit there and say, I love God. Or you can scream it to the top of your lungs. But if you sit there breaking every one of his commandments, he not listening. If, hey, you should be able to do one little simple thing. Is this right here? Watch it. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. He said, Unless you be converted and come as little children. What do little children do? What do they know? Not what? They don't know nothing. Right. What do they, so guess what? They always ready to learn. He said, You got to be converted and come as little children. Read. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You ain't going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You come with that prideful spirit that that brother got, you're not going to get in and know everything. Don't understand nothing that you're reading. Read 1 through 14. Why I need to read the whole, whole damn chapter to get some understanding? Because he don't know the Bible. It's really that simple. He don't understand. And this thing ain't really hard to understand. And listen, you got to first... Be humble so you can get the milk. I don't get a Watch. person coming up here trying to convince y'all right. anyway when y'all just trying to spread positivity. Guess what? We're trying to save like, our people lives. Yeah, like, but watch this. Hosea um, 4 and 1. Watch this. 4 and 6. But hey, sis, you know what you're saying is actually Bible prophecy. It's actually, what the things you be saying, it's actually written. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Bible is about us. It describes us to a T. We can't escape it. Watch this. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Guys, people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. What knowledge? Look, the knowledge that we're destroyed from is God's laws. He gave us the laws for us to have wisdom. That's right. And we reject what? The commandments. If you're rejecting the commandments of God, what are you sitting there saying you want us that you're gonna follow? The ways of man. Well, let's look at the society. We got all the drugs, all the, all the violence, all the homosexuality, all the killing, all the murdering. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got um, sisters having multiple baby daddies. Hey, men having multiple baby mamas. This is a society that's destroyed. And this is what we follow. We base our whole life off the wickedness of the society. You know. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, what did that brother do? Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. God rejected us. And guess what? He rejected us and put us in slavery. And we got people right now, guess what? That's getting rejected today because they refuse to return back to God. Read. That thou shall be no priest to me. All men of God are called to be the priests. We got to know this Bible like the back of our hand. Because we're commanded to go out here and teach our people to bring them back to God. Read. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What did they forget? The law of thy God. They forget it because they so quick to reject it. You understand? That's what happens. Jump up to verse 1. Verse 1. Matter of fact, finish that. I will also forget thy children. He'll do what? I will also forget thy children. Because if you're wicked, guess what? Your children following you. you know? They're learning what you teach them. He gonna, he gonna kick them to the curb too. Same way he gonna kick you to the curb if you don't repent. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Why does God always speak to the children of Israel? Because they're his children. You don't worry about, worry about everybody else's children. You worry about your own. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. There you go. There's no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Because 
Christianity and Islam and all these false religions and ideologies have kept, got our people in darkness. You understand? So now he says there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. Read. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood, touch of blood. You know what that's called? Today, in simple terms, black on black crime. That's all that is. He said, now it's black on black crime. Because now you're killing one another. You ain't got mercy for one another. You out here committing adultery. You're doing all manner of wickedness. the courtesy to listen first. I've watch been this. You, you constantly, he's de he was dealing with that sister's, he was dealing with that sister's question, he was dealing with that sister's question about the Sabbath. And you start throwing out other questions. Watch this. Do not no teacher. What are you supposed to teach people? I'm asking you something very simple. I'm asking you something very simple. What did he tell uh, you to teach the people? What did he tell me to teach the people? Watch this. What is the truth? The truth is everything that is written in that book. Let's find out what the truth is. See, the one thing about us, we're going to actually tell you what the Bible says. Yes, matter of fact, before you get what the truth is, give me Isaiah 8.20. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you something real quick. We, hey, we're not them ordinary guys that's oh just sit there and sound good. We're going to sit there. We're the prophets of the Most High God. Yes. You don't even realize you up here bucking against God's prophets. Read. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 to the law and to the testimony. It was a law and to the testimony. The laws of God, the testimony of Jesus Christ, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Because there's no what? No light in them. Because there's no light in them. Watch this. I'm going to give you the answer according to the Bible of what you should be teaching. Give me Malachi 2 and 7. See, this is the difference between you, bud. You sitting here talking a good game, but you don't understand nothing that he just brought out. You haven't understood. Watch this. Watch this. Every time we bring out something, you got something to say. Humble down. Watch this. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. What should they seek? The law at his mouth. What should they seek? The law at his mouth. Can you gonna humble that? Can, are you gonna admit that? They said the law. The law. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the true messengers of God are going to teach you the laws. Why? Watch this. Read it again from the end. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So who are the true messengers of God? What are they going to teach? So you notice what are the two messengers of God going to teach? The law and the law being said is from did you the understand that question, sis? What did the Bible just say the two messengers of God going to teach? Because that's a, that was a very simple question. Very simple scripture. It wasn't even deep. It doesn't require all that talking. It doesn't require all that talking. It doesn't require none of that talking. Watch this. We need to get from the top. I'm gonna see if y'all. I'm gonna see if y'all keep this. You can't hear because you talk too much, bro. Watch this. Listen up. Malachi chapter two verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It said for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Now it's gonna tell you what knowledge. For they should seek the law at his mouth. So the priest's supposed to teach you the laws. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the true messenger of God is going to teach what? The laws. Read. Yeah, that's what they taught. But ye are departed out of the way. But you are what? But ye are departed out of the way. But you are what? Ye are departed out of the way. 
you are departed out the way. That's why you can't get that. Right. That's why you can't understand that. Right. That's why you up here debating and we're just reading debate. from the Bible. Right. Now, I want you to think about that. We, we be, give me Isaiah 28 9. Let's find out who God is going to give this wisdom to. Bring Let's find out about that. Because it's not really a hard thing to understand. Right. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Is that not a question? He said, Whom shall he teach knowledge? In whom shall he make the under to understand doctrine? He said, Who am I going to make to understand the doctrine of this Bible? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Who drinks milk? Babies. So you know you got to be humble like a child. Be ready to learn. Be ready to learn. Because we're actually teaching from the book. We're teaching from the book. You're running your mouth. Read. Verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. He said precept must be upon precept. What does that mean? Since you know so much. You don't know. That's why. You need to keep your mouth closed. Precept is law upon law. You understand? That's why he said the priest should what? See, they should seek knowledge from the priest because he's going to teach you the laws. Precept must be upon precept. Law upon law. Read. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Learn upon learn. What? Learn upon learn. Right. It's not the Bible being read. It's not the Bible being read. It's the Bible being read. Watch us. I said, I'm going to Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Watch us. Break this down for me. I want you to break this down for me. I'm going to let you do all the talking. I want you to break down this verse. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. What does that mean? That means your path. Make sure your path is set straight when you're wrong to the house of God. You think that's what that means, sis? Read it again. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Read. And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to what? Hear. So it said keep thy foot. It means don't put your foot in your mouth. Close it. That's what that meant. Be more ready to hear. Then to give the sacrifice of fool. Guess what? You're going to be sacrificed as a fool because you're not listening to the word of God. Watch it. Guess what? You're giving the sacrifice of a fool because you know why? You up here. You know, you, guess what? What are we reading? What are we reading? And what are you doing? I'm preaching. No, what are you doing? You can't even break that down. Yes, what, would you, what should you be doing though? What should I be doing? Teaching the law. Why should I be teaching Because he said that's what the priests do. No. Right. Guess what? That's why you ain't one. That's why you need to keep your mouth shut. Right. Read it again from the top. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that look at you talking while the Bible coming out. You don't have no respect for nobody that's trying to listen to the word of God. That's how we know you hate your people. That's what's the sitting right there trying to listen. Read it again from the top. Okay, you know what? That's a feminine spirit about a man that do stuff like that. You got a very feminine spirit. That's probably why you are here today with these rest of these homosexuals. Because you got a feminine spirit about you yourself. Grow up, young man. Hey, you know what? I'm, hey, I got sons older than you, and you up here running your mouth like a little boy. Hey, grow up. Grow up. Read it again from the top. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be ready to hear them to give the sacrifice of fools. He's steady running that mouth. Read. For they consider not that they do evil. What do he do? For they consider not that they do evil. He don't consider that he do evil. He go ahead. You are agree. Be not rash with thy mouth. Do what? Be not rash with thy mouth. Be what? Be not rash with thy mouth. He said don't be rash with your mouth. You ain't, you don't even realize we are here giving you the keys to salvation. Right. We're out here trying to show you how you can change right. and come into the grace of God. We're out here trying to show our people how to repent and come back to the greatness that they meant to be. And tell me right now what one thing that you gave them that they can go live by. Tell me. You give us the answers. What do you? What do our people need to do to get into the kingdom? What do they need to do? Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. What does that mean? What does that mean? Dipped in the water? 
Um, no, that's not what that. What does repent that, mean? Repent means to change. It's a change. Oh, to change, change from what? To change your path. To change, change your, your path? lifestyle. To change your Watch mind. This. To change your heart. Watch this. You think Christ wasn't telling them to keep the laws? No. So I when somebody think, was a thief, was so 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 when he said when somebody was a thief, he said keep on stealing. When somebody was a thief, he said, keep on stealing? Twist my words, No, you said okay. he wasn't teaching the law. I, yes, that's what I said. When Christ did he came, keep I the did law? Not preach the law. Did he keep the law? Christ kept the law. But give me, give me, give me, a, give me that, Peter. The Pharisees even give me that, Christ Peter. About so Christ kept himself. the law. And yeah, now, Jesus watch us. Are you a follower of Christ? Are you a follower of Christ? In the New Testament. Christ brought what? Yeah, the Pharisees came to Jesus. You said Christ the broke the law? He broke the Sabbath. And Who said Christ, Christ broke the Sabbath? Well, Jesus pray. Christ. Pray. The Pharisees came to hey, him. Hey, hey, what? the black man, okay, the black man the now Sabbath. is saying Christ sinned. The same law you oh. are preaching. He said Christ sinned. This did black man I, said Christ did sinned. Did I say Christ you in danger, bro. Or did hey. I say First Peter chapter 2, verse 1. For even here unto, when you you told. Because Christ also suffered for us. So Christ also suffered for us, read. Leaving us an example. Christ left us an example, read. That ye should follow his steps. We are all supposed to follow Christ's steps. And we call ourselves a Christian, right? Read. Who did no sin? Who did what? No sin. Who did what? No sin. He committed two sins. No sin. He did no sin. That's right. That's why you need to shut your mouth. Right. Neither was Kyle found in his mouth. Neither was what? Kyle found in his mouth. That's what's in his mouth. Kyle. Right. Sit there and say Christ sinned right. twice. Right. Did I say Christ sinned? When he or did was I say Christ sinned? What you're teaching? When he suffered, he threatened nuts, but committed himself that judgeth righteously. What does he do? But committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Right. Sometimes you just got to shut your mouth. Right. Be well ready. Right. Right. Sometimes you just got to do that. Guess what? Give me Matthew 18 and 3. Let's see. I want you to break this down for me, too. Because we know I ain't going to get nothing deep because obviously you keep tripping. Read. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. It said, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. How do you be converted according to the Bible? You don't know? I don't know. Psalms 19 and 7. I'm sorry, this is surprising. No, it doesn't surprise me. I, you, you're proving it. You haven't surprised me at all. Right. Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. What does the law do? Converting the soul. That's what converts you, keeping God's laws, the one you keep saying that we don't got to do. Read. And the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. What does the testimony of Christ do? Making wise the simple. It makes you, takes your little simple behind and makes you wise. Right. You understand? That's why Christ said, if you love me, do what? What did Christ say, if you love him, do what? Right. What did Christ say you to do if you love him? What did he say? Right, right. Did we give you a commandment on Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 about keep thy foot when you come into the house of the Lord and be more ready to hear? So he's just telling you, hey, think about this right here. We up here teaching. We up here teaching. Everybody come up here and start doing what you're doing. Arguing, throwing out a million questions. Guess what? Will anybody get edified? Will anybody get taught? If you got a million people sitting up here doing all that. I'm bringing truth to life. What is truth? What is truth? I don't think what is truth according to the Bible? Say, hey, I think the Bible says yeah. this. How what is truth according to the Bible? Then shouldn't we as two men who are both trying to serve the same God go? You're not serving the same the God. This is who you're serving. And how is, That's and your how God. Is that right. Watch this. This, watch this. I'm going to ask you right now. Right. God gonna... just had a, a high holy a week yeah. for us to follow. Yeah. Every one of us in purple kept it. Yeah. Did you Did I do what? keep the high holy week that he told us to keep? No, I sure didn't. So well, what God did what you keep? Uh-uh. It says to you, guess what? Are oh, you going to believe it if we tell Testament, you? Right? Watch this. Did Christ follow? Uh, part of the Did Christ follow? 
Did Christ follow everything in the Old Testament? He didn't. <laughs> hey, give me what Christ was reading out the Old Testament. Uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, matter of fact, give me that. Give me the 5 and 17. Watch this. You, I, I, brother, yeah. Christ opened up a book and started reading. Right. Reading out of the book of Isaiah. Okay. Is that the Old Testament? Yes. Yeah, so he was teaching the Old Testament. Was so was he was teaching he the Old Testament. Testament. So so he didn't teach the New Testament, yeah. did, did he? Yeah. Christ, yeah. Jesus he didn't, didn't teach out the New Testament, Testament did he? The New Testament. He didn't teach out the New Testament, him. did he? Bro, read me your biography right <laughs> now, bro. That's why you won't answer that question, Wayne. How that work, bro? Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not. The I am come to destroy the law. He said, don't think it. Don't even consider it that he came to destroy the law. What law? Where's the law written? Where are the laws written? So he said, don't even think that I come to destroy. Does it, you think Christ did away with thou shalt love God with all thy heart and thy soul? You think he did away with uh, thou shalt keep the Sabbath? Thou shalt not kill? Honor thy father and thy mother? Guess what? There's laws on how to do those things. There's statutes on how to do those things. So guess what? He's telling you how to do those things. He's showing our people a greater way, and you sitting here saying that Christ did away with all of that. Now he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And you don't realize that the knowledge that you sitting there trying to say we ain't got to do is why we destroy it. Because we don't do it. Read. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Or the prophets, or the what? Or the prophets. Guess what? If he destroyed what the prophets say, we would never come out of slavery. Right. You know, we would never come out of slavery. Because he prophesied us coming out of slavery. They prophesied our enemies being destroyed. So he prophesied about the kingdom being returned back to Israel. So guess what? Did he do away with that too? Hey, let me ask you, did he do away with that? Did he do away with that? Uh, he won't ask the question. That's like your mind gone. You've been out here on these streets too long. Read it again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass. One chunk or one two shall in no wise pass from the law. He said, as long as the heaven and earth is still here, not one dot, not one comma is going to pass from the law. Read. Till all be fulfilled. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments and teach men that you ain't got to keep the commandments. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Meaning you ain't getting in. Right. Read. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We do and we teach. Right. We gonna be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Right. And you setting up here calling against what we're teaching. Right. How does that make sense? And I'm wrong in so many ways. Can you humor me though, just for one second? Can you read Romans four? Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna ask you one simple thing. No, bro. Okay. I'm gonna read this right here. Give me Acts three and nineteen. Can you, can you I, I want to see. I want. I want. I just. Lord? I want. I'm gonna humor you by reading why, this scripture. Want I want to see if you love Christ. What is wrong with read that. Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Do what? Repent ye therefore. Repent. And do what? And be converted. Are you gonna repent your sins? What is my sin? All right, I'm gonna give you a sin you're in right now. Give me Numbers 15 and 38. I'm going to give you a sin you're in right now. Because I already gave you one about you keeping your foot when you come up in the house. You were already here. Hey, thank God you're doing that. I hope you're doing it. I hope you're doing it. You, you, you. All right. Three. Numbers chapter 15, verse 37. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Do you acknowledge that you're a child of Israel? What tribe are you from? You see the sign over here? Instead of arguing with us, you should walk over here and look at this sign. Because you could, look, if you, if you are black American, right now, just say, but, but we just add, he said, speak to the children of Israel. Watch this, watch this. Check this out. Are oh, you from the tribe of Judah? 
don't know. Now you're a black American, then you from the tribe of Jew. I ain't finna go out playing games with you on that simple stuff. Cause like I said, we men out here. And guess what, we deal with men. You know, and we, if you wanna act childish, if you wanna act childish, we're gonna treat you like a child. I'm gonna spank you with this word. So I'm trying to deal with you like a man. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them. And bid, what does bid mean? Command. He said, command them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. How long is throughout their generations? Forever. What are fringes? Do you, you see anybody out here with fringes on? Guess what? All these men in purple got fringes on. These are fringes. God gave us a dress code. Read it again from the top. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So as you see, we all got ribbons of blue on our fringes. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandment of the Lord and do them. So you can remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So this is a spiritual thing that God did. He gave us a dress code so we can remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Read. Because listen, other nations have their own little customs that they follow because they don't have a God. We have a God. Right. The other nations don't have a God, That's right. but we have a God, and he gave his children a dress code. We don't question it, we follow it. Right. Read. And do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart. Now, right. hey, that's what's one thing with our problem. They want to, our people, our people have a major problem. They want to seek after their own heart and their own understanding and say, hell what God say. Read. And your own eyes. After which she used to go a whoring. That's what you do. Because once you start going away from the word of God, you go a whoring. And you start following other gods. Perfect example right here. Because our people keep 4th of July, Easter, Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day. They keep the Sunday Sabbath instead of the seventh day Sabbath. That's following other gods. And then guess what? If you was keeping the seventh day Sabbath, you will be right here understanding this Bible. You'll be sitting here on this side teaching our people instead of bucking up against us. Read. That you have remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. Be holy unto your God. You understand? So what's the whole duty of man? You don't know? I thought you read the Bible though. Right. So you don't know what the Bible says what the whole duty of man is? Think about it. What has you been hearing the whole time? What have you been hearing the whole time, sis? Obey the law. Obey the what? Law. Sis so been up here a very short time, and the reason why she can answer that question because she was listening. She wasn't playing <coughs> strife. She wasn't arguing. She was actually listening, trying to learn. You understand? Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. Period. To keep the commandments. You want the kingdom, right? You want the kingdom. Let's find out who the kingdom for. Because, listen, one thing about us, we got a kind, loving heart. And it's so kind and loving, we want to save the people that rape, rob, murder, kill our people. And we don't want no judgment to be passed on them. We want them to be able to go through hundreds of years of raping, robbing, murdering, killing, and then allow them to be in the kingdom with you, who've been oppressed the whole time you've been here. You understand? That's a problem. God is a vengeful God. He's going to bring vengeance for the things that they've done to his children. He's not giving them no free pass. You understand? The same way he didn't give us a free pass for breaking his laws, this happened to us for being disobedient. What the hell do you think going to happen to the people that did this to his children? He's going to reward them the same way they rewarded us. Read that. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. And at a wall great and high, and at the kingdom of heaven going to have a wall great and high. And, and had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. And at the 12th, 
I'm sorry, and at the gates, 12 angels. And at the gates, 12 angels. Sis, you want to get into the kingdom of heaven? Watch this. We're reading about the kingdom. And you want to go into those gates, right? It said, the kingdom of heaven. Read it from the top. I want the sister to hear this from the beginning. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. Yeah. And it had a wall great and high. It had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. And names written thereon. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So if you're going to be able to walk through those gates, shouldn't you know what tribe you come from? Yes. You understand? That's important. Because if you're not an Israelite, you don't acknowledge that you're an Israelite. You don't know what tribe you come from. Did you study to show yourself approved on the God? No, you didn't. That's why you have to repent. That's why you have to come humble, ready to learn. You understand? Give me that um, Romans uh, what is it, 12. No, no, give me 10 and 1. Yeah. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brother, my heart's desire in prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. So God's heart desire is for the children of Israel to be saved. Right. That's our heart's desire. We ain't up here sitting here trying to be smarter than everybody else. We're just trying to give you the information that's going to save your soul. Right. The same desire that God has, we have. We want our people to be saved so they can enter into the kingdom. So we can go back in the rulership of the earth. Read. For I bear them record that, that they have a zeal of God. You got a zeal of God. But not according to knowledge but not according to the knowledge of this bible right you understand that's why we listen we all hold on we all used to have a zeal of god we, you got so much knowledge about the bible let me ask you a bible trivia question a bible trivia question in genesis 1 god Watch is this. hovering above the water where did the water come from god never said that there be water <laughs> right i'm going to ask you something Right now, right now, if Christ wants to return right now, I'm asking you something. I'm asking you a trivial question. Watch this. You ain't answered not one. Where did the water come Watch this. He made it. No. God didn't make nothing. There, now, Genesis is a, rec it's a record of creation. If he made the water, wouldn't there be a creature where God says Yes, he said he created the heavens. So where did the water He said he created the heavens. Guess what? He also tell you when he, he also tell you. Twelve stars above her head, and the sun and the moon at her feet. Who is that? By the six, she, Who is that? Double entendre. It's a multi -entendre. Who is that? There's literally four different understandings to the scripture. In one iteration, she is Mother Mary. In another understanding, she is time. Oh, you, you, you to be. In the, later in the I can't even entertain that foolishness. I, I can't even entertain that foolishness. For sometimes and for right. half of a time. Go back to go back to Romans ten and one. Give me ten and two again. Water from his mouth. Hey. And the Bible says the right. earth opens up and right. protects the woman and takes the water. This is the same water, what is the that water? God is hovering above. What is the water? It's in your Bible, but you know. I do know what it is. You know all of it, right? Yes, we do. We do, because we're going to tell you. Watch this. Give him the water, Ephesians. Let's see, let's see what the water is. Right. <laughs> let's see what the water is. Oh. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. Bring it up. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. By the what? By the word. The washing of the water is what? By the word. It's the word of God. Right. So when that water start rising, I understand it start rising. Right. Yeah. Period. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. 